it is apparent that people are heckling the president uh, especially when the president is making important visits it looks like all protocols are no longer being observed people are behaving anyhowly in the presence of the president uh, this uh, turned uh, King Diki very angry listen to what he had to say Rift Valley leaders to order, asking them to stop embarrassing the president the by engaging in what he termed as unnecessary supremacy wars. Well, in visits. reference to the rise in cases like of heckling and hooliganism no witnessed in presidential functions, People as was the case in Kericho and Bomet, Gashagwa told the leaders uh, to respect uh, the presidency uh, and stop political squabbles. Two incidents in Kericho and Bomet have now left the head of state and his deputy furious. In Kericho, Governor Dr. Eric Mutai was booed and jeered in front of the president when he toured the county to officiate and commission grand projects. And in Bomet yesterday, when the president made several stopovers to address the crowds, another governor was on the receiving end. <laughs> this time it was Bomet governor Hilary Barchok who felt the wrath of the crowds. They booed him as the president watched pensively. The two incidents have angered not just the president, but his deputy too. Rigadi Gashagwa has read the riot act to the local leaders and residents who he says are embarrassing the president in his public meetings. You people from Rift Valley, I want to appeal to you, don't take the presidency for granted. Gashagwa wants both the local leaders and residents to square out their squabbles once the president leaves his functions. I'm going to call our leaders from this area, from our counties here in North and South Rift, the Kate Chilin Hau, so that they can explain to me what is the problem and why they want to embarrass our president at home. During yesterday's turn of events, President Ruto told off the local leaders and the residents for playing cheap politics in his presence. Mimi nataka niwaambie hivi. Mambo hii kulete mambo hii kwa mkutano mimi sitaki. Wase bidu? Ogaso. Speaking at separate functions, Rift Valley leaders also urged their political counterparts to be tolerant whenever the president is in their midst. Hiyo maneno ni haibu kubwa sana na na waomba wakahaji wa bonde la hufa tafadhali tuweze tuweze kuvumiliana haswa mambo ya kisiasa hakuna haja hatuna siasa wakati huu hatuna kura inapikwa kesho leo ni siku ya maendeleo yale tuliweza kuona kwa kericho ama sehemu hizo zingine ambaye rais wetu ali, alienda Iyo sio tabia na kimila ya kikale njima. Na naomba kwamba wale wanasiasa wasitumie mikutano ya rais kujionyesha katika mamlaka yao na network yao ya kisiasa. Ngojeni mpaka 2027. Last month services in Bomet town were paralyzed momentarily after residents staged demonstration demanding the resignation of Governor Barchok. The angry residents lit bonfires along the Bomet highway rendering the busy stretch which connects Bomet to Kericho and Nakuru counties impassable. In their protest the residents accused the governor of mismanagement of county funds thus demanding his immediate ouster. Nimrotabu Citizen TV
All right, in other news, one person. Also, of course, where is this anger coming from? Uh, given that anger is simply a cover emotion for being people that are hurt, it is obvious that uh, Kindiki is hurt when the president is not uh, being accorded the decorum and the respect that he deserves. But I don't see uh, anywhere in the law being written that uh, there are punishments for such uh, behavior, uh, behavior such as heckling. I think this is just something that the police can do their role, that is maintain law and order, because it's very, very difficult uh, to take uh, any kind of action against uh, these people that do heckling, uh, because in the court of law you, uh, you, uh, you will have to show the their crime you will have to show their their what their effect of their actions and in most cases uh, heckling is just uh, passing wind just uh, some noise that people are making in the in the crowds so it's very very difficult even to prosecute this kind of cases so i think uh, the better way of dealing with this uh, is the president has to work on his team so that during uh, all these official events and blah blah we have as uh, the police as uh, in proper circulation i believe in kenya we have enough police officers to be able to keep law and orders in in meetings of such stature it's very very wrong to for the president to have to remind people that he is the president of the land that they should stop uh, their political uh, bickering especially in this uh, kind of official meetings so it's very very shameful uh, in fact uh, some action must be taken and that this disciplinary action should go to the police officers so that they they learn to keep law and order in public gathering so political heckling here and there is part of the political process is part of our democratic uh, life that's why we are a democracy and not an autocracy. And in a democracy, we have uh, the concept of tolerance, whereby it's very important to tolerate other people, even uh, though we may not agree uh, with their political standing. It's important to incorporate the concept of tolerance into ourselves. So we cannot have a political life without uh, some sort of tolerance. So it's very, very important to also have this kind of discipline whereby we don't just behave anyhow and we are not able to manage our emotions and our political feelings. So it's very, very important also to learn how to, uh, to express our dissatisfaction. I believe most of the people that are organizing these heckling uh, issues are people within the ranks of UDA that are dissatisfied with the way uh, the president is doing, with the way the president is acting as the leader of this party. So uh, these people should master enough courage to approach the president directly and explain their case instead of doing unnecessary things and, and also childish things that do not uh, make any uh, sense. So uh, the the heckling issue can only be dealt with the police because they are in charge of this maintaining law and order. Arresting people is people, the, the police can arrest people, they can keep law and order within gatherings. That is a very simple thing. So it's not something to really call for political things. Thank you for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe.